Hello Explorer, Natasha here from the Traveling Foxes and welcome to Salbach Hinterglam in Austria. <laughs> we drove from Croatia to here in Salbach Hinterglam. Last night we arrived in our beautiful little hotel here in Hotel Kendler. We love it here because it's one of the biggest ski resorts in Austria. We're going to be skiing in the next few days. I'm a little nervous since I haven't done it in the last four years or so, um, but we'll see. And let's go skiing. Oh, wow, it's tight. <laughs> okay, I think it feels awkward You're at glad. first. <laughs> How are you feeling? Great. 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 <laughs> This one already took me up, up in the mountain without any proper exercise. I'm super nervous. Does she remember how to ski? French fries, pizza slice. French fries, this, this, and then this one. Pizza slice to slow down. That's it. I'm so nervous. I like, I like shaking. <laughs> I like shaking. Okay. Alright, we'll be right back after a reminder how to ski. A few moments later. You're doing great. Good up. Well done. Woo, we did it. And she does it. No. halfway down the mountain it was definitely a struggle but I think I'm getting better slightly still falling down though but need more practice day two of skiing I think it's a smart thing to do getting ski lessons first before actually going up the mountain although yeah I did have to learn the hard way a lot of beginners here I feel like I belong here Practice slopes uh, is relatively short, but it's a great way to practice technique and form. Practicing in the beginner slopes is really nice, but after a while it becomes a little bit too easy. And if you want to get better at skiing, you gotta challenge yourself. So let's go up to one of these chairlifts. My husband is going to take me to another challenging slope, right? Yeah, it'll be a piece of cake. How was I yesterday? Is it like a vlogger comment or an honest comment? <laughs> honest. She was she was improving. She was improving. <laughs> Every five minutes. No, he's actually bringing me to an 8A slope, which is red. Color red. And if you're an absolute beginner, you have to know all of these colors. You know, blue is the easiest, easier slopes. The red is more in the intermediate slope. So, hooray for me! <laughs> Boots are good for walking. <laughs> you can't make it too tight because it's gonna constrict the blood, but you can't also make it loose because then it'll be hard to ski. Day four of skiing, and um, I think I'm getting a hang of it. We went down the red on my first and second day, and I struggled so much. 
And on my fourth day, um, at least I'm able to go down without any major injuries. <laughs> One of the best reasons why you should try to get better at skiing fast is you get to go up to this mountain and look, this, this is what it's for. This is, wow, this view is just gorgeous. to a nice relaxing spa session it's just perfect just exactly what I needed after a full day of skiing <laughs> I'm going to ski down now but thank you guys for watching another travel vlog here in the traveling foxes if you're new to skiing and if you want to try it I highly highly recommend it but don't be like me where I went all the way up to the mountain get proper ski lessons anyway thanks again for watching hit that like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the traveling foxes if you haven't yet for more travel vlogs travel videos here and around Europe bye for now Yes. <laughs>